Hey, thanks for uh, your time and for doing this interview with me. Um, I'm just going to get right into it. And my first question uh, would be, how did you two prepare for your roles? And were you able to reach out to the real Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee for advice? Well, we... <laughs> you When... You were attached in 2020, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I always knew you'd you'd come on even as far back as October of 2020. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I can't yeah. remember exactly when it was. But and I came. I got a call from Craig in October about the role, and I, and I, I guess you know you can never have enough time to prepare to to sort of step into the shoes of of those people. But I felt like we did have these three months in a way to kind of, um, and, and I know we were both shooting other things, mm. but, but it felt like this giant kind of like crawling to the, to, to the one day when we could have this camera test and, and we could see each other as, you know, and all the work from hair and makeup. And I think from then on, it just began to sort of open up a little bit more for us. Yeah. Yeah, because it was sort of like we we did all the work we wanted to do researching them and reading, you know, their books and trying to like inform ourselves as much as we possibly could on who they were and, you know, at that moment in time, what happened to them and what the script explores. But so much of that was also relying on this physical transformation, which took place mm. really like, you know, weeks before we started shooting. So, yeah, yeah it was a long process. Okay, cool. Thanks. Um, then my next question would be, um, what do you think about the media's handling of the this sex tape scandal, um, especially for those most affected like Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee? And do you think uh, an incident like that would be handled differently today? So the, sh the, hot the show is really our intention was to explore the effects on, on both of them and the repercussions and, and indeed how it sort of shaped us, the celebrity culture that we have today and our internet culture, given this was coincided with the birth of the internet. And this is the first viral video and what that means and where we've landed today. And this sort of shaped that. And um, yeah. And unfortunately I feel like the media has uh, proven itself a, a pretty reliable, we're having a pretty reliable track record for, for continuously desensitizing people mm. to, to, you know, to, 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 to themselves. And, and I feel like we live so much more in the, in that clickbait kind of mentality world now where, where uh, I, I don't feel a lot has changed. Um, mm -mm. And, and, and unfortunately it's like, when you look back at our show and, and you have those moments when you're just a pure, innocent naiveness of not even knowing how to log on to a computer and, and what that meant. And, And the idea of having something that's private, some somehow just going out there in, in the in the matter that it did, um, but I think it's important that that we hold uh, the media a bit accountable for 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 the narratives that they spun on on the two of them, and particularly of her. Mm -hmm. And and you know I felt that they really put her down, and they wanted to keep her in a certain lane, and and they didn't pay attention to the fact that she was pregnant, and and she was trying you know to to have a family with this guy that she had just met uh regardless of who she was and uh and so there's a level of culpability that i think we're trying we're hoping people are kind of becoming aware of not just the media but we as an audience as well yeah. but but yeah when, when's the media going to take when's the media going to take one for the team and, <laughs> and acknowledge some of that yeah I, never probably but it's a good that's a worthy cause for reason to want to make this show, you know, and, and, and also exploring the kind of double standards within the media and the sexism and how, yeah, sad, sadly women often take the, the biggest fall and the, um, a lot of the consequences. Okay. Thanks. Um, yeah. My next question, you maybe already kind of answered it, but um. Like, do you think that the, the, the view on celebrity culture has changed since then? Do you think like the uh, case of Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee is a very crass example? Or do you think that's like very common? And would you also say that this scandal is kind of like a foreshadowing on what we today understand as the like reality TV kind of thing? Or yeah. 
Well, I think I think it certainly uh, begs us to look back, right, at, at the '90s and and particularly this event and 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 use that as a reference in the timeline of where we are now, 20, almost 20 years later, right, with with the internet, because social media, in my opinion, has completely blurred the line between sort of uh, people all together, celebrities and non-celebrities, um, and and everyone's sort of encouraged to have to to kind of find a way to stand out and be famous and 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 there's a lot of profiles you know there's a lot of sort of uh things you're kind of posting about or things that you see on there that really don't seem to represent the reality of of, of people's lives in a way it's always here is your best filter and here's your uh -huh, you know here's uh -huh. for the like and the comment and, uh -huh. and 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 again i think when when we're thinking about like young people growing up in that environment I, it just I, I i personally find that to be terrifying so um, yeah sadly not not a lot's changed yeah. okay yeah thank you for your answers and your time i think we're already yeah we're almost through so yeah thanks Hey, Taylor. Hey. Uh, I'm just gonna right, jump right into my questions. Yeah. Uh, the first one would be, um, what do you think about the media's handling of those affected by the sex type incident like Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee? Mm -hmm. And do you think something like this would be handled differently today? Well, I think it, it's so interesting because there, there are so many factors that play play into how the tape was handled and we live in such a different world now. I mean, um, the internet, let alone social media, wasn't available then. Um, and I think what I've, what I really absorbed from this story that sort of feels like it stands the test of time in some ways is like the idea of that, we were so culturally so quick to judge and demonize Pam Anderson. Um, and we had no information. There was no perspective. There was no context. And, and it didn't matter. We went, we went so hard, hard down the, the route of like just piling on top of the exploitation that she was already experiencing. And, um, I, th I think that that's just something that that I has really stuck with me since I made this. Like, what what are we maybe judging now that we don't have all the information about, and who who are we kind of demonizing that we need to you know maybe be supporting or or at least you know giving space to. Okay, cool. Thanks. Um, so then my next question would be. Um, do you think that celebrity culture has changed since then? Or is this incident more of a foreshadowing of what we nowadays uh, understand as reality TV or reality TV culture? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the, that one of the things that is so interesting to me is that it does. But there was no consent involved, that it was almost accidental. It was a like a... Pam was the victim of a violent crime. Her home was broken into. It was a felony home invasion. And yet the, the attention that it garnered changed celebrity culture forever. Um, and I'm sure it's the, you know, was the beginning of all sorts of, of all sorts of things we see now. Okay. Um, then besides that, what do you think are the strengths of, strengths of the series and what can viewers expect from the series? Um, I think that, I mean, for me, when I, when I read it and I was just flabbergasted by how little I actually knew about what had happened to Pam, And, and Tommy, and I, I imagine I'm not going to be alone in that experience. So I, f I feel like it's just, it's a, de it's a deeply compelling remembrance of history. It's a, it's a very, uh, or, or, or reckoning or revision or rewriting of something that we all can kind of remember or at least know something about. Okay. 
Um, then maybe I think we have time for another question. So what did you uh, like most about the character you played? Um, well, I loved Erica. By the time I took me, it took me to episode seven to fully make sense of her. But, okay. you know, I, I play this woman who's a um, who's an adult entertainer and a very successful one. This woman named Erica Boyer. And she's, uh, you know, made so many movies and has left this like canon of work. Um, but she enjoyed her job and she felt she was very successful and she felt a great deal of um, agency over her own life. You know, Erica, Erica, you know, there's, there's this thing that that's not in the show, but a bit of research about Erica really knowing that people, people would look at her who maybe had seen her movies would maybe stare seeing her get milk at the grocery store because But she well, she understood that that gaze was a part of what she was doing and she she accepted it and embraced it. And so from that place as being kind of like an empower, not kind of, she was, she was in control of her own narrative as a sex worker. She's a great character to be able to highlight why what Pam is doing is not porn and why mm -hmm. it's so dangerous and why, in fact, not only is it not porn, it's, she's, she's the victim of a crime she's being exploited and erica is so proud and confident in what she's doing she's saying do not conflate me what i'm doing and the exploitation of that woman what you're doing that's a crime and what i'm doing is a choice and it's a really cool you know grace note to the to the piece okay thank you so much for your answers and for your time Thank you. Great, great. And have a great day. You Goodbye. too. Take care, Marissa. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.